What's going on guys? You got Jesse here, Mr. MFC in the house. We're going to show you today how to do our OEM Plus fog light install. So what you're going to do is you're going to take 30 minutes from the passenger side to the driver side, do this super simple install and take that nasty yellow color bulb that you have from the factory, put it into an awesome beam pattern that is LED, perfect for going off-road, no bumps, no bruises, everything's perfect. Best part about it is DOT and SAE approved. So these are legal in all 50 states. Unlike those little bulbs that you get from eBay, Amazon, for a little bit more money, you can have the peace of mind that these could be run on your car and not get pulled over. You got three bolts holding the fender liner in. You got one down here. You got one right here. And you got another one up here. So you got a total of three bolts that are holding the edge of the fender liner in and they use an eight millimeter socket. We're gonna take those off. And once we take them off, there's one pressure connection at the bottom that we're gonna take off. I'll show you how to take those off and then you can move the fender liner all the way out of the way. Now, if you have a 2014, Cherokee. They do make it with a fender liner that has two access parts that you can pull out of the way. 15 and up, 15 to 18, they did away with that design. So there used to be a flap that you could actually just move one bolt out of the way and turn this entire piece out of the way and then access right from there. Same with up here but they did away with that. Uh, I guess it was too costly, so they just made one full panel, and now you have to take the entire fender liner trim off to access all the electronics for the headlights and the fog lights behind it. So we're gonna take the flathead, kind of wedge it in here, make enough of a gap to actually pull this piece off. Take your flat edge, put it right here, pull that piece off. And these two pieces are what you're left with. Set those to the side. So what we did was, now we moved the tire in the opposite direction. So it gives us more access to the fender liner. So you see down here, and this entire trim all the way around, we're gonna pull it out of the way. And the best way to do that is to grab, grab a flathead, wedge it in there, and now you can literally pull the entire fender trim out of the way. plastic trim out of the way. I'm going to grab a light so you guys can see what we're doing. So as you can see, you have a lot of space to access the driver's side. You're gonna have a couple of bolts to remove this housing. There's gonna be one down here, one on this side, and one up top. So three bolts that you're going to remove, and you're gonna use a seven millimeter socket to remove them. And 
connection comes right off. This is your unit, DOT and SAE approved. It's going to bolt directly in and we have our wire harness that mates up to the factory so it is a plug and play solution. It's got a black inner surround to match the factory headlights so it actually complements the front end of the vehicle real nice. by presetting the screws into the unit, gives you one more free hand, so you don't have to hold them. We make it so it's got a little bit smaller of a diameter opening on, on the two bottom locations to make sure it is easier to get installed. So I'm just going to take some tape, and actually pierce the bolt through the tape, like so. Wrap it on, and now, when you get started, your bolt will actually be held on, so you have your fingers free. Bolt location. And I'm in. You can see tape is holding that screw on. And I'm just using the finger portion of my socket to just really get it started. And once I have it seated pretty well and it's grabbing, I can actually just start tightening. And now I can pull the socket off. And now my bolt is seated and I can start tightening it again. Now while I'm ratcheting it, as you can see on the back side, there is this spring right there on the back side of the fox. So depending on your local laws and how high they can be aimed, you can actually change the angle of the fog. If you want it up high, dead center, or bring it down low. Because it allows you to have a little bit more control over your light pattern. Alright, that guy is in there. Nice and tight. So you got one right there. So you got the one over there and the one up top. Those three are going to be your bolt locations. And then you take the harness that we have provided for you and marry it to the OEM. And there's a little tab guide on there, just like so, put it on, and make sure the seats, you have a connection, and it's good, it'll snap, tuck that wire down, out of the way, and then we can close back up the fender liner. These are, once again, an 8mm. Make 
sure that the two holes line up. Push it in. And put its counterpart in. And boom, you're good to go. Beautiful. And that right there is your OEM Plus LED upgrade. Thank you.